Hello everybody, this is Captain RL with FLFishingSpots.com. Today we're going to just be discussing the update and uh, an overlook of the Florida Keys, Middle Keys lobster spots. Okay, this, uh, this area runs to Duck Key basically. We'll zoom in here a little bit. This is the Google Earth file you'll receive of course. Everyone knows that that's what this is. It's a, it's a fairly big area. I'm going to add in some borders and labels here so you can see where we're at. Okay. So, Duck Key is the most, it's the most centralized, I guess you'd say, between there and, I don't know, between there and Key Colony Beach, I guess. But you run all the way up to just south of Long Key. So, let's say it's Long Key to, and this is Marathon here. So, Long Key to Marathon has the most. There's a few down here more toward Big Pine, um, but not quite, around Bahia Honda more or less, but you can see the coverage, and uh, there's about 310 we added, and uh, let's look at a couple on the ocean side real quick, a lot of people would rather dive the clear water on the ocean side, but most of the time it's going to be deeper, now this stuff uh, on the on the ocean side here is anywhere from five, six, eight feet, you know, snorkeling territory all the way to you know, there's some 25 and 30 feet areas too. You get comments that basically say, when you click on them here, that basically say it's a lobster habitat or it's a lobster spot. Um, that's about what everything's going to say here. Um, yeah, and this one says, look for lobster holes and nearby rocks. It's going to be that kind of stuff. I think there's around 90 on the ocean side in this same geographical area. And let's get over here on the bamboo bank is on the bay side obviously of uh, Duck Key. You got a lot of them that'll have spots about bugs. Uh, let's see what else. You got them that'll just say yeah that's like patchy mixed bottom meaning that's probably hard bottom coming off of a grass flat with some rocks um, but this is what it is. So there's a lot of good spots here. Uh, a lot were added on the bamboo bank which is here. The ones that I'm running around on here left side of the screen these were all added and uh, the number comes to around I think 295 to 310 additional plus we add a little bit south of Marathon here we added all these there's about 75 I think 75 or 80 in this area so that's where we are but I want to give you guys just a quick overview of this area and uh, there's a lot of spots here. I think the total is around 1,300. But here's another thing we need to go over really quick. Because a lot of people stay in uh, Isla Mirada and Key Largo, which is up here, this area. And uh, it's, it's still a pretty good drive down here. It's a, it's a, long, a pretty long boat ride. And uh, when the sea breeze gets up in the afternoons, it's, it's pretty rough if you're going to do this by boat. So if, if you're not staying pretty close to here, uh, and Key West is way down here. It's off the daggum screen over here. Um, Key West is here. So this is more the upper middle keys is what this is. And remember this, again, this is just the Google Earth version. Just so I could show you these spots real quick. But this this also loads, you know, the files come for Garmin, Raymarine, Simrad, Lawrence, and Humminbird. Also for your GPS. That all comes with it. That's all emailed. If you can order an SD card preloaded with the spots for all those brands if you'd like. All that's done during checkout on the sites. Um, at the bottom of any of the pages where fishing spots are offered or lobster spots, you'll find the pricing and the checkout buttons at the bottom of the pages where we offer spots, okay? A lot of people have trouble locating where to check out. Everything's at the bottom. Below the map images, the map images show just this what we're seeing here they show the coverage of the area so you can get an idea of it's if this is what you want so again just be aware this area is not Key Largo and it's not Key West it is in between again marathon to long key basically is what this is and uh, you get all your regular files with it again there's coordinates list the GPS files two Google Earth files one's a plain satellite view like this one and another one shows a, a NOAA map in the background Keep in mind that was slow to load when you're uh, when you have anything less than 4G at all. Uh, this is the best one to use. 
uh, for navigation uh, you really need a GPS there, I, I don't suggest no anybody in this company suggests that you navigate using a cell phone because most people don't know or believe that the, as the battery gets lower and the signal starts to worsen as it starts to go into battery save mode what have you you also lose GPS accuracy so you really need a GPS to navigate in this area uh, most of this most of this stuff has recovered from Irma overall there's still some stuff there that shouldn't be there on the maps um, on your GPS there's some sandy spots that that are still present you just got to be careful and uh, the best way to do that is running with a GPS with a with a map built in um, is the best way to go to navigate this area all these spots will load seamlessly onto any GPS that takes an SD card in the brands that I named and uh, it won't interfere with your own spots you already have they'll load up seamlessly and you'll be able to navigate to them just as if you'd enter them manually by hand into your GPS except we have a file that'll load them all at one time for you all right okay guys that's too long I guess already so if you have any questions send us an email to GPS fishing maps at gmail.com or again to find these spots go to flfishingspots.com scroll down the home page and look for the lobster spots if all else fails, click the search button, which is in the main top menu of any of our websites. All right, guys, thanks again, and uh, you guys have a good day and be safe on the water. Lobster, uh, lobster guys are down there this year in droves. Um, a lot of shorts this year, just by the way. Uh, but get down there and get you some, guys, and uh, good luck. Again, be safe. Take care. See you next time.